Good evening. My name is Nicole and I'm a local resident living in the Washington Park neighborhood. My partner and I run an organic urban farm, composting site, and a farm blog at our home. We call ourselves Ocean State Organics. We grow heirloom vegetables, herbs, and raise a flock of dairy chickens and ducks. We have started a Providence compost program where we redirect local urban food waste to feed our flock a healthy, diverse diet as well as to remediate the land with their contribution of nitrogen-rich compost. We run a low-energy home, using about 10% less energy than our most efficient neighbors. And our home composting system means that we rarely set our trash bins out on Sunday. As you can see, we care a great deal about our individual and collective impact on the urban environment, and have changed our lifestyle to reflect our values. I have a decent amount of knowledge of the history of this area, and it is clear that after a century plus of environmental contamination, it is very much in need of land and water remediation. And these remediation techniques are answers which can be found by utilizing urban agriculture models. We use some of these models ourselves to offset many issues local to our area, like heavy car emissions, and creating organic soil barriers between ourselves and toxic waste so that our land is safe for all. It is my understanding that the proposed liquefaction facility will not only put us in danger once it has been built with its highly flammable natural gas, but also while it is being built, unearthing a plethora of contaminants into the air and water as construction begins. Not just for myself, but for my farm and all of the wild and marine life that lives in this area, I consider this to be a great threat. We do a lot of advocacy around lead in soil in farming, and there's no way that this disturbance will not affect the local biology. I've seen just how lifeless the soil is from contamination, and this is not a project that will increase biodiversity. It will only reduce it. As climate change continues to determine my gener how my generation will have to deal with the world's constant destabilization, I can't help but wonder how adding this facility to an already highly contaminated floodplain is a good idea for my community. I lived in New York City during Hurricane Sandy and I helped organize people-powered relief efforts there after the storm. Not only did local residents have to deal with rapid floodwaters, but the waters were contaminated with a slurry of chemicals and debris from the area. I personally experienced plants <coughs> being a part of Sandy relief efforts, and seeing this community is overwhelmingly comprised of black and brown people, I can't see the disaster relief response being efficient or helpful in the event that there was a storm surge to our area. Again, we would be left to self-organize our way out of this situation. I live just a mile away, and I've yet to be notified about this proposed facility, or be made aware of the risks concerning sea level rise, storm surge, heavy rain, and wind. I find this to be problematic, especially because many of my community members are not English speakers. I believe that's quite unfair. There are just, these are just a few reasons, among so many that would exceed this forum why I oppose the construction of the LNG facility in Providence. As you can see, community members are in fact concerned about our environmental impact, and we are making direct changes to challenge the system of dependency on fossil fuels. We ask the Regulatory Commission to reject the proposal for this pipeline and for this facility, as it does not reflect our future towards a sustainable life on Earth. This cannot continue. We must find another way. Thank you.